Hello friends, let's discuss current affairs. Today's first question is on the Golden Globe Awards. Triple R or RRR recently won the 2022 Golden Globe Award for the original song titled Natu Natu. These awards are presented by, of course, mentioned there. Now I want you to write a bit about each of these awards, the major categories, the winners and uh, about this particular song as well. Okay, so we we'll go past this. We ha I have put a blank slide only for this today. Yeah, um, we have this R R R written. It's written by. You could write this. Yeah, written by Chandra Bose. So written by the lyricist is Chandra Bose. Okay, lyricist, singers, there are two, one is uh, Kala Bhairava, and the second is Rahul, Sipli Gunj, Rahul Sipli Gunj, music composer, Music director, music composer, M. M. Kirwani. Kirwani. Yeah. This movie's director is R. You know, R. Rajmoli. Rajmoli. So all about the song plus the director's name are all there. Hmm? So let's go a little past this. Let's look at, uh, I think, uh, yeah, uh, there's an issue with the pen, but let me see if I can use this pen here. This one has an issue. No, I think this one also is not writing. But anyway, let's fill this with whatever, then we'll discard this stuff, okay? So right, um, 80th Golden Globe Awards, that's the title anyway you would have written. Highest prize, the life for lifetime achievement is Cecil DeMille. Cecil DeMille Award for lifetime achievement. This has gone to the great comedian Eddie Murphy. Absolute gem of an actor, Eddie Murphy. Now let's write best films. So they usually have two categories. One is musical or um, comedy. The second is drama. So we'll write all best film. There are four categories to in this case. In this particular case, there are four categories. One, uh, best comedy or musical. Best Comedy or Musical The Banshees of Inisherin The Tale of Two Friends The Banshees of Inisherin It's a tale of two friends who fall out Who have a fall out and There's a bitter fall out The Banshees of Inisherin That is Category 1 Category 2 2 is Drama one by the fable mans the fable mans oh the fable mans okay then three uh, yeah you could write this best foreign film best foreign film in which uh, RRR was nominated. See, nomination, the difference between nomination and entry is what a country sends is his entry. That's a long list. A long list, then a short list. A long list has hundreds or tens of movies. Of these, five are selected to make it the short list. That is where the film is nominated. 
So the last five names that you you know see being read out at the award ceremony, you know, are called nominations. Okay, that's a nominated list. The so foreign film Argentina. Argentina, 1985. It comes from the country of Argentina. Okay, so you could write in brackets Argentina. But so Triple R lost to Argentina, 1985. Next, best animated film or best best animated film. This is a very long title, Guillermo. Del Toro's Pinocchio. Okay, Pinocchio. Guillermo Del Toro's Pinocchio. You know, you must have heard of this Pinocchio cartoon character who often lies, and when he lies, his nose becomes long, elongated nose. So it's a sign that the person is lying. Okay, so that's best film. Best films. Now that you've written the names, I want you to go back because now I'm not able to erase. Uh, somewhere something has gone wrong with this pen, but it's okay. I guess it's just machine. So let's write best actor. Best actor. Best actor. Again, two categories. Hmm? Best actor, two categories. Because I'm not able to erase, I'm just going by whatever space I get. I'm getting here. Hmm? For musical and um, what is that? Um, comedy, you know, category. Uh, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell, very good actor. Colin Farrell. For the film, The Banshees of Inisherin, The Banshees of Inisherin, which you wrote a while ago. Colin Farrell, for The Banshees of Inisherin, this particular film. Okay, next. For drama, uh, what's his name? Elvis Presley, the guy who played the role of Elvis Presley, Austin Butler. Austin Butler for the film Elvis Presley, the great rock and roll legend. He played the title role Elvis Presley. Okay. Next, best actress. Best actress. Uh, Comedy and musical, Angela Bassett. For the film, uh, Black Panther, the second of the films titled Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Wakanda forever then drama category the great kate blanchett for the film tar no sorry tar t a r t a r tar Tor, T O R, Tor would mean a mountain. Okay? Tor, T A R. Next, last category Best Director. Best Director. One of the greatest directors ever, Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg for the film. The Fable Mans. Hmm? 
the fable mans okay so we got pretty much everything all the four categories of best films then best actors for both categories musical um, uh, in which best actor is given uh, musical or comedy and uh, drama the same goes with best actors we also looked uh, the, the the winner of the best director award steven spielberg's film and yeah the triple r thing everything that you should know yeah triple r so i guess that's pretty much about it india and panama recently signed in the mou memorandum of understanding to enhance cooperation in the training of diplomats identify the correct statements regarding panama um, all of these are right uh, it's located on isthmus now what's an isthmus i want you to write this but before that um, let's look at the choices uh, linking south and central america which is true manama is a capital yes there are two currencies accepted in this country one is uh, balboa and the second is the united states dollar it's um, you know the way you know the place where it's located it's one on one side you would find the atlantic ocean which is like the caribbean sea and um, south you have the pacific ocean let's see where it is this is the americas okay americas north and south americas okay this is panama you see here this one yes this is panama this narrow stretch of land you can see in the inset app you know this is panama this is a caribbean sea technically this is what is called the yeah this is the uh, atlantic ocean like we have the arabian sea or the bay of bengal now neither need the names are not required because they are extension seas of the atlantic sorry the indian ocean okay but anyway here we have uh, these two well now you see this uh, earlier when ships would go would have to travel from the american west coast uh, um to east coast they would have to move all around like this yeah and it would be months of travels and pretty dangerous and you could say from east to west as well uh, in absence of railroad in the absence of uh, because this was the wild west pretty dangerous country and from here to this place is about 8800 kilometers pretty long you know uh, boundary you know pretty long you know what say distance pretty you would say pretty long distance between the coasts then if european uh, stuff had to come to the west uh, what say you know united states then also things were pretty bad bleak actually so what the americans did was this first the french took initiative and they started digging a canal here they started digging a canal here okay this one here well now the problem with this is that um, the french could not complete this task they could not could not dig a complete cap uh, you know uh, canal so the americans took over and the americans completed the canal this shortened the route from west coast like this god is european came like this so this considerably shortened the route for trade for travel for of course moving of defense forces now this you know canal was under the control of the united states between 1903 you could also add to this point panama canal panama canal under us control between 1903 and 1999 1999 initially it was 77 but then they stretched it to 99 where well, now let's look at this word isthmus what's an isthmus that s is pronounced it's not like island okay so um uh let's write isthmus what's an isthmus you write this a narrow stretch of land narrow stretch of land connecting two larger 
land areas connecting to larger land areas across across an expanse of sea or expanse of water better is this expanse of water by which by which they are otherwise they are otherwise separated separate separated by which they are otherwise separated and think about this see this is the isthmus you see this it connects so panama is the isthmus it connects uh, north america with south america now think about this if this stretch of land were not there and this had ended here this would have become a strait this would have become a strait a strait is a narrow channel of water that separates two land bodies okay now at the same time of course things would have been quite easy this ship and every all kinds of movements could have been easy like you know without the need for a canal okay so if you look at straits around india you have the park strait p a l k which is you know between the us and sorry <laughs> between uh, india and sri lanka okay yeah so this is this is the true map in a flat map you will find the europe is quite far away from america but this is what is called the mercator map um, you know this is a global map actually in a mercator map a mercator map is a flat map okay in mercator maps you would find that um greenland appears considerably bigger than india which is not the case greenland is two thirds of india's area but that's how it appears in the mercator flat map flat earth map see when earth is flattened at the top you know the top things get stretched but at the top things get narrow in real life you know if the earth is round so at the top things are narrow got it yeah. so it's fascinating world isn't it yeah panama for a long long time was ruled by spain the whole of south america in fact i have told you this in the past whole of central america southwestern united states the whole of this areas wherever i'm drawing the line now this is all ruled by spain except for brazil and of course some parts of this one french guiana everything was ruled by britain you know spain Brazil was ruled by Portugal for a long long time. From here we go to the global risks report. Okay. Now this is published by the World Economic Forum. I can see the graphic there World Economic Forum. This is taken I took it from the global risks report. Now top policy makers hot shot CEOs they were all asked um, So, which do you think poses the greatest risk over a two-year period and a ten-year period? Two-year period, the most important thing they came up with, with the greatest risk is they said inflation, cost of living crisis, cost of living crisis. It is actually impacting people everywhere. It's eating into people's you know purchasing power, which effectively means that their quality of life suffers. Yeah, you know, it's pretty bad out there. Things are pretty. pretty bad my friends but over a long period of time they say that okay the bigger problem you know inflation may go up you know go away in a couple of years maybe 3 4 years but climate change and the steps we need to take to address climate change are missing we are not taking we are not doing enough to stem the problems emanating coming from climate change so that's something that you know failure to mitigate that is less than the impact of climate change that's a major major issue my friends so i think um, see if you look at this carefully you would not find inflation in any of the top 10 over 10 year period 
okay the larger issues macro issues those that could that have could have global impact are coming inflation to a large extent is a local phenomenon but we live in a world where even the local thing is impacted by the global thing so it's called a global thing global plus local is global okay so the world economic forum every year meets in january the world's most important policy makers hot shot ceos eminent policy makers they all come down they thrash out ideas like the world economic forum was started in 1971 it was started by a man who is also the current chairperson klaus schwab founder chairman klaus schwab okay and it's headquartered in a place called colony which is a part of you know you could say geneva switzerland okay that's it so founder head office the year of its founding okay and you could write annual meeting at devos annual meeting at devos yeah. india is prominent is 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 figures prominently in almost all kinds of discussions these days at devos okay so from here i think we've had a look at each of these choices world bank imf and uh, wto we just look at the head offices now imf and world bank are both headquartered in washington dc washington dc imf international monetary fund and world bank are both headquartered in washington dc um shall we write all not required actually yeah but chalo one last thing um world trade organization geneva because we already mentioned geneva up here geneva switzerland Hmm? So Vancouver, IMO, Vancouver. No, oh, we're not required actually. Then the world's longest river cruise flagged off by Prime Minister Narendra Modi from Varanasi in on the thirteenth, no, on thirteenth January. Yeah, it should be on thirteenth January, and. Um, When you read on the thirteenth of January two thousand twenty-three, it's called motor vessel MV's motor vessel. This is a river cruise, unlike an ocean cruise. This is a river cruise, motor vessel Ganga Vilas. Okay, Vilas means residence actually. Uh, I'll see so this journey would start from Varanasi, say so Varanasi to. Dibrugad in Assam. Dibrugad, Assam. Okay. Then you could also write fifty-one day journey. If they ask you a question like which of these is incorrect about MB Vilas, at least you should know the facts. Fifty-one day journey is going to cost you twelve point. Six lakh rupees. To be precise, twelve point five nine lakh. But yeah, twelve point six lakh. Okay. The entire distance, the total distance, would be about three thousand two hundred kilometers. That's a long distance. Yeah. And um, who is the inland? Who is the inland? Water Authority of India. You could write this piece. Yeah, you could write Inland Waterways Authority of India Chairman. Inland Waterways. Inland Waterways Authority of India. Sanjay Bandho Padhyay. I repeat, Inland Waterways. Authority of India, headed by Sanjay Bandopadhyay. Bandopadhyay. 
Okay. Uh, identify the billionaire founder who was asked to reduce his stake or give control in the Chinese fintech. Fintech is financial technology giant and group which is owned by Alibaba going, go, you know, uh, owing to regulatory crackdown. See, Jack Ma is a founder of Alibaba group. He rubbed the Chinese financial regulators the wrong way after he said a few things where some of the top financial regulators of the, the government of China were present. He said a few things they didn't like and then things went bad. At your um, level, you don't need to know what exactly went bad. But the government forced him to give up his stake in Ant. Ant Group is a financial technology firm, though basically it it's like it lends money. It lends money. Yeah. So what is choice? What are the choices? You could write this. These are the five richest people in China today. All five. Yeah. You could write Zhang Zhan Shan Shan. He is a founder chairperson of Nongu. Nongu. Spring. Yeah, non go spring. It's a water company. They sell bottled water and other stuff. Okay. Non Fu Spring. The second guy is a part of your life. How? Yiming owns a company called Byte Dance. Byte Dance owns a product called TikTok. Among its most famous product is, products is TikTok. Okay. Ma Hua Tong owns a company called Tencent. Tencent owns WeChat, China's number one messaging platform. Like we have WhatsApp, India's number one messaging platform. They have WeChat. Okay. Now, what Robin Jeng owns is slightly complex. He owns a company called Contemporary. I know this name is very long. What is the meaning of this word? It means someone who is at the same, you know, who, who's con your contemporary means someone who is at the same level as you are or in the same period basically. Okay. Contemporary Amperex. Technology Limited. Contemporary Amperex Technology. Now you wonder why should I write this? Yes, you should write this. Why? Because this is the world's number one electric vehicle battery maker. Electric vehicle battery maker. World's number one electric vehicle battery maker. When you pronounce the word vehicle, the H is silent, so it becomes vehicle. Okay, contemporary Amperex technology. Company limited, but that's okay. Hmm. This is one of my favorite subjects. China is my one, you could say it's my among the nations that I wish I teach about, China is one. Yeah. It's really Great fun to discuss China, but we don't have that much time to discuss China. Who among the following persons has recently been appointed the 55th Speaker of the United States House of Representatives? Kevin McCarthy, that's Kevin. Well, um, he took 15 votes to be elected the Speaker of the American House of Representatives. The American Parliament is called Congress. You could write US Parliament. is called Congress. Congress, the word Congress means meeting. It has two houses. It's a bicameral legislature. One is called the Senate. The other is this, you know, upper house. The lower house is called uh, House of Representatives. House of Representatives. I think it's the, already there on the screen. House of Representatives. 
ठीक है सो दिस गाइज हैव हंड्रेड सीट्स एंड फोर थर्टी फाइव हियर द डेमोक्रेट्स हैव कंट्रोल हियर फोर्टी नाइन टू फिफ्टी वन टू फोर्टी नाइन and uh, these guys have a majority here uh, republican 222 210 no is democrat yeah no 212 sorry 212 one is vacant one is vacant the numbers are right okay so one is house speaker so you could make it 50 here no issue hmm. so kevin mccarthy he is he has his own positions the republicans are radically different from the democrats america as you know has two major political parties the democratic party and the republican party the republicans are basically conservative religious wise they are very religion wise they are pretty conservative they are anti abortion because religion christianity talks about you know um you know it, it forbids homosexuality it forbids same sex marriage same sex relations it forbids um, you know abortion because the church says it should be pro life god gives life so there should not be abortion like that stuff so they are all the generally anti contraceptives also yeah anti contraception so there are plenty of things here but then if we go a little past you will find that democratic party is pro you know socialism pro uh, taxation higher taxation for the rich on the rich they are pro abortion yeah they always talks about talk about these rights of people and all that so fair Kevin is um, the speaker of the US House of Representatives. He took 15 votes, 15 rounds of votes. This is the highest number of vote, you know, vote rounds since 1870 I think. Since 1870. So Two of the following persons will be conferred with the center on the legal profession award for global leadership dhananjay yashwant chandrachud the cji the chief justice of india okay cji india cji um dy chandrachud was before he became the supreme court judge and eventually the cji he was a chief ex you know he was the chief justice of the allahabad high court Allahabad High Court Chief Justice. Okay, let me give you this. He studied at Saint Stephen's. He did a BA at Saint Stephen's Delhi from De Saint Stephen's Delhi. Then he studied for his, um, you know, LLB uh, from Delhi University. Then he went to Harvard Law School where he did a ma Masters in Law LLM. Um, from there he started practicing and he was a judge. He later became a judge of the Bombay High Court. from being a judge of the bombay high court he became the chief justice of the allahabad high court from there he became a supreme court judge and now cji yeah yes which city recently hosted the international kite festival 2023 simple question ahmedabad it's always ahmedabad but this time around a few more cities in gujarat have been brought in like surat vadodara mahsana rajkot yeah a lot of these cities are also co-hosting the international kite festival you know i just mentioned airports let's look at airports i usually don't talk about these things but chalo uh, chennai international airport yahan pe dehradun the airport is called jolly grant jolly grant international airport Ahmedabad airport is called Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel International Airport Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel International Airport Patna Lok Narayan Jay Prakash okay Lok Nayak Jay Prakash Narayan 
Jay Prakash Narayan. He was generally called JP. People called him JP. Jay Prakash Narayan International Airport. Okay. Bhopal Airport is called Raja Bhoj. Raja Bhoj International Airport. Chalye. Which two nations are part of the joint air exercise named Veer Guardian 2023? India and Japan. Okay. And there is so there are a couple of things you should know. One, where was it held? You could write held in Hyukuri, Hyukuri Air Base in Japan. Hyukuri Air Base in Japan. Then you could also write like next led by the Indian delegation was led by squadron leader squadron leader in brackets of Sukhoi you know it's a fighter aircraft bought from Russia hmm? Sukhoi 30 MKI Squadron leader of Sukhoi 30 MKI. What was the name? Um, by squadron leader Avni Chaturvedi. Led by squadron leader Avni Chaturvedi. Avni Chaturvedi. Dash. Put a dash. First ever female. First ever female, first ever female fighter, female fighter to lead a fighter squadron, a fighter squadron against a foreign partner, against a foreign partner. Hmm. Who is the Indian Air Force Chief? The Indian Air Force Chief is Vivek Ram Chaudhary. Vivek Ram Chaudhary. Which public sector unit ranked first in our services sector in the Public Enterprises Survey 21-22? Power Grid Corporation of India. See, Power Grid Corporation of India is a Maharatna, the highest category of Ratnas. You have Maharatna, then Navaratna, then Mini Ratnas. Okay? And within Mini Ratnas, there is category 1 and category 2. So, let's look at Maharatnas. But before that, the name of the CEO of or the chairperson of Power Grid. You could write, oh, I think I should avoid this. You could write this. Kandikuppu. Kandikuppa, sorry. Kandikuppa Srikant. Kandikuppa Shrika. You can write with an I also instead of double E. Okay, let's look at Maharatnas. There are 12 Maharatnas. Twelve Maharatnas. Right. Uh, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. ONGC, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. Then, uh, what is this? Uh, Indian Oil, Indian Oil Corporation, Indian Oil Corporation, Indian Oil Corporation. Next. Oh, some people say Oil India, it's okay. Huh. Then, Sale Steel Authority of India Limited, 
Gale Gas Authority of India Limited, Coal India Limited, Coal India Limited, Bhel or BHEL, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. Next, Power Grid Corporation. Power Grid Corporation of India. Next, Power Finance Corporation. Power Finance Corporation. Next, National Thermal Power Corporation. This one more. Third is National Thermal Power Corporation. Then yeah, Rural Electrification Corporation of India. Rural Electrification Corporation of India. Easy to remember. Four of these refer uh, relate to electricity. Okay. Four of these relate to more or less commodities, Elect you know, commodities and manufacturing. And these four relate to oil. Easy to remember, isn't it? BPCL, HPCL, ONGC, or India Corporation, then SAIL, GAIL, BAIL, CIL, then PGC, uh, PFC, Power Finance, then NTPC, and Rural Electrification Corporation. Hmm? So all 12 Maratnas have come. Killer Jeans is one of the few, is, 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 is the new jersey. Sponsor of the Indian men's cricket team after MPL pulled out of the sponsorship. Killer Jeans is a brand owned by Cable Kiran Clothing Limited. Hmm. See, on the jersey you would find a killer. That's where it comes from. Bombay Dying, Bombay Dying owns, you know, uh, you know this company he is owned by a guy called Nasli Wadia. Nasli Wadia. The Wadia family owns Bombay Dying. And you know Bombay Dying, this Nasli Wadia is a grandson of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Grandson of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Yeah. Nasli Wadia is a Nusli Wadia. He is a Parsi. He is a grandson of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Arvind Limited. Arvind is the owner of this chain called unlimited newport rockport all stuff hmm? Chana. So the following became the fastest cricket to reach 1500 runs in 843 balls in t20 international cricket surya kumar yadav surya kumar should be one name surya kumar yadav you know surya kumar yadav started his life as a Loco pilot, which means train driver. Think about it. How hard people work to realize their ambitions. Hmm? So, a lot to learn, my friends. He first, uh, in the IPL, he played for Calcutta Knight Riders. And he was their vice captain for some time. And later he was acquired by Mumbai Indians. Mumbai Indians. To mark the International Year of Millets, which Indian city will host a major international event titled Magic Millets 2023. Ah. So, Millet 2023 is the International Year of Millets. Millets like Bajra, Jawar. Ragi, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Any particular names of airports in these places? I am Bengaluru Kempe Gowda. Kempe Gowda, the founder of Bangalore City. Kempe Gowda International Airport. Hyderabad Rajiv Gandhi International Airport. New Delhi, Indra Gandhi International Airport.
The supporter of Jair Bolsonaro, the ex-president of a South American nation, recently stormed the Congress, the presidential palace and the Supreme Court. Identify the country mentioned in the statement, the president or ex-president of Brazil. <clears throat> he is also called Brazil's Trump. For many years, for many months now, I have been telling you that Bolsonaro is often nicknamed Brazil Trump. Yeah, the Trump of Brazil. He actually proved this after he lost the election to the Brazilian president, the current Brazilian president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. So he sent his supporters to attack the British, uh, sorry, the, attack the, you know, uh, the Brazilian uh, parliament, the Supreme Court, just like what Donald Trump did on 6th January, yeah, 2021. So anyway, things are like this now. Um, this is Jair Bolsonaro and uh, if you want to write, see there are protests happening here, there are protests happening here, there are protests happening here. Brazil's president is Luis Inácio Lula da Silva. He was sent to jail for corruption in the past. Mexico, Andres. Obrador. Andres Obrador. Full name is Andres Obrador, you know, what's it? Peer. Not, don't write. Perez. You don't write Perez and all that. Argentina, Alberto Fernandez. You could write with an S also, no harm. Hmm? Peru is seeing massive protest you now against the presidency of Dina Buluarte. She threw out the previous president who had staged a self coup, C O U P. He threw out, he was a president, he threw out the Kong, you know, uh, he threw out the, uh, the constitution, and everything. He said that I'm there is an emergency situation in the country. I'm going to be president for some longer time, no elections. But the people rebelled, the police arrested him. Now today, Dina runs the country hmm, of Peru. The number of wing guests, uh, migratory birds, are flocking to Bhitar Kanika National Park, increased marginally to 1.4 lakh this year. This national park is in Orisha. How they count, there is a story, how they count the number of birds that come in. But right now, let's not get there. Okay, Odisha is also home to another national park called Simlipal. Simlipal National Park. Uttar Pradesh, Dudwa National Park. Madhya Pradesh, oh, plenty of them. Kanha National Park. Then we have Uttarakhand, Gangotri National Park. Kerala, Silent Valley, which of the following has become India's first fully digital banking state, Kerala. That is because Kerala government has launched what is called k -Fon. What is k -Fon? You could write this. Kerala Fiber Optic Network. Kerala Fiber Optic Network, Kerala Fiber Optic Network. Okay, now you could also write one more thing about Kerala. Only state, Kerala dash only state to declare to declare right to internet, right to internet. as a basic right of citizens, as a basic right of citizens, only state to declare right to internet as a basic right of citizens. Chief ministers, hey, there is right, right has come. 
பினராயி விஜயன் ரைட் கிளிக் ஒர்க் மத்தியப்பிரதேஷ் சிவராஜ் சிங் சௌஹான் பசவராஜ் பொம்மாய் முத்துவேல் கருணாநிதி ஸ்டாலின் முத்துவேல் கருணாநிதி ஸ்டாலின் ஒரிஷா நவீன் பட்நாயக் நவீன் பட்நாயக் வித் ஸ்டேட் ஒன் த யூர் ஹேபிடாட் World Habitat Award 2023 for the state's 5T initiative called Jaga Mission. What's Jaga Mission? You could write this. Slum Upgrading. Slum Upgrading Program. Slum Upgrading Program. Hmm? Basically to improve the lives of slum dwellers. So what are the 5Ts? Time. Time. Transparency, Transparency, Right. Third one, Technology, Yeah, that's important. Technology, Next, Teamwork, Teamwork, last one transformation transformation right take care Jharkhand Chief Minister is Hemant Soren. Hemant Soren. What is Shavi mentioned a while ago? Haryana Manohar Lal Khattar. Manohar Lal Khattar. Telangana K. சந்திரசேகர் ராவ் கல்வக்குண்டில் சந்திரசேகர் ராவ் வித் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் டெவலப் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ரீசெண்ட் லான்ச் ஃபெசிலிட்டி ஃபார் ஆண்டர்பிரினர்ஸ் டு சப்மிட் தேர் கம்ப்ளைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சீக் ரிட்ரஸ்ஸஸ் யூசிங் த வாட்ஸ்அப் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் வெல் த வீட் திங் அபவுட் கேரளா இஸ் தட் தேர் இஸ் ஹார்ட்லி எனி இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் பேஸ் அண்ட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ரேம்பேண்ட் வைட் ஸ்ப்ரெட் ட்ரேட் யூனியனிசம் no company wants to set up a business there very few companies are willing to set up any business in kerala because of widespread state support government support of trade unionism yeah so nitish kumar runs bihar nitish kumar andhra pradesh y s jagan mohan reddy According to Nikkei Asia report, which country for the first time surpassed Japan in auto sales for 2022 and moved up to the third place globally. The third is India. What are the top two? What are the top four you want to write? You could write, yeah. You write global auto sales, global auto sales. One, China. When I rank, there are no dots after numbers. 26, 27 million. and those of you who have problem with million you could simply write 2.62 crore you can make it that way na 2.62 crore so china sold 2.62 crore vehicles to united states 1.54 crore
थ्री इंडिया फोर जपान वॉन्डर वॉट इज इंडिया वॉट आर द इंडिया नंबर इंडिया सोल्ड फोर्टी टू यू कैन मेक फोर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव सो लेट्स मेक इट फोर्टी थ्री लैक वेहीकल्स फोर्टी थ्री लैक फोर व्हीलर्स एंड देन मेक्सिको नॉट वेहीकल मेक्सिक नॉट मेक्सिको फोर जपान वी सर ना आई जस्ट लुक इट हियर फोर जपान फोर्टी लैक सो नंबर सर फोर्टी नहीं फोर्टी टू लैक सो वी आर ओवरटेक इन जपान नाउ इंडिया इज द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट कार मार्केट इन द वर्ल्ड Hmm. So, South Africa. The president is Cyril Ramaphosa. Some extra stuff here. South Korea, India. I think South Korea. We took the name in the last class. Indonesia, Joko Widodo. Joko Widodo. World Cup winning captain Hugo Lloris recently announced his retirement from international cricket, international football. I'm sorry, he played football for France. He's a goalkeeper. He played about one hundred and eighty-one, forty-one, one seventy-one matches, one seventy-one matches of which one forty-five came as since you know. One seventy one matches, one forty five were for the national team. The rest were for under fourteen, under fifteen, under eighteen like that. So overall, one seventy one matches, and that's the highest number of matches played by any French footballer for the national team. So that makes him the most capped French footballer. French footballer. Okay. You know what are the top three football nations rankings? Brazil, world number one is Brazil. Number two is France. No, who was the winner? Argentina. Three France. So the world number one football team is Brazil. Second neighboring country Argentina and third France. Yeah. Michael Deb Pratap Patra has been reappointed the deputy governor of the RBI for another year. This is Michael Deb Pratap Patra. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, The other three, see, RBI has four deputy governors. Four deputy governors. One, two, three, four. T. Ravi Shankar. Two. T. Ravi Shankar. Two. Mahesh Kumar. <coughs> Mahesh Kumar Jain. The third is M. Rajeshwar Rao. Rajeshwar Rao. <coughs> Four deputy governors of the RBI. Who is the chairperson of? Um, I'm just trying to pull out that. Does this work? No, it's not working. Chairperson of SEBI, Madhavi, Puri Booch. Chairman of NABARD, K J K V Shaji, K V Shaji. 
वाइस चेयरपर्सन ऑफ नीति आयोग सुमन बेरी नॉट ऑल आर रिक्वायर्ड चेयरपर्सन ऑफ पब्लिक this is held by a woman business woman from the south okay she is also the ceo of uh, tafe t a f e it's not required for right now national science day 2023 is celebrated on 8 sorry 28 feb every year uh, to commemorate the discovery of the raman effect which is about scattering of light the theme for this year is global science for global web well being and raman effect was discovered on 28th february 1928 chandrashekhara venkataraman chandrashekhara venkataraman received the 1930 nobel physics nobel physics prize or some people say nobel prize for physics next he received the inaugural bharat ratna 1954 The first Bharat Ratna was given away in given out in 1954, and he received. He was one of the three recipients. The other two were Sarve Pali Radha Krishnan and uh, Chakravarti Rajagopal Chari. Okay. By the way, you know how many national days are there in India? We have plenty of national days, like National Youth Day, January 12th. National Youth Day. This is the birthday of Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda. Okay. Then we have national. Uh, say this is um, science, na? No? Then National Sport Day. National Sport Day. National Sport Day is the birthday. National Sport Day. The birthday of Dhyan Singh or Dhyan Chand. then national education day november 11th which is the birthday of maulana abul kalam azad maulana abul kalam azad national education day ke baad national mathematics day national mathematics day december 22nd the birthday of shrinivasa ramanujan shrinivasa ramanujan okay at the time, at which of the iconic places did union minister home minister amit shah inaugurate jai hind the new light and sound show red fort you know the red fort was built in 1638 The construction was started in 1638 under the you know supervision. The architect was Ustad. What is his name? Ustad Lahori. Ustad Ahmed Lahori. Ustad Ahmed Lahori. Ustad Ahmed Lahori. He was the architect of both also the Taj Mahal of the Taj Mahal. So architect, you could write. one more thing you could write is this um that this was built under the you know under mughal emperor shah jahan shah jahan's real name was khurram k h u r r a m khurram his papa was jahangir who was salim salim anarkali that salim You know the red fort was also called Kila Mubarak, Kila Mubarak, the blessed fort because this is where the royal Mughal family used to reside. Kila Mubarak. Gold Konda is in Hyderabad. Um, you know, Amir or Amber, Jaipur. Gold Konda. See the name Gold Konda. Comes from two separate words, gold and konda. These are Telugu words. Gold basically is Hindi derivative, round. What is it? 
Konda Hill. That, that is what normally people would think, isn't it? It is not true because it's not round. At the same time, this word Golla comes from the word Golla. Gol comes from the word Golla. Golla means shepherd. It's a Telugu word. Golla is a Telugu word meaning shepherd. Shepherd's hill. So before the fort was built, this was a pasture land, a grazing land for, you know, for the livestock, the sheep, the, you know, the, the goats herded by these people. Understand this? Golla Konda, hill belonging to shepherds. The Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change listed Neela Kurinji under Schedule 3 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, including it in the list of protected plants. Um, Kurinji is found in the Shola Forest of the Western Ghats of all. Yeah? Typically, Neela Kurinji, Neela, blue, Kurinji means flower, shrub. Right? Flower or shrub. So, this has given its name to Neel Giri. Neel is blue, Giri is mountain. Neel Giri mountains are named after this particular fl uh, flower. Okay? And they blossom only in 12 years. Every 12 years they blossom. Remember this, 12 years. Once the 12 year cycle is over, again you have to wait for another 12 years to, for it to come back. You know, for these flowers to come, make a comeback. Okay? India's IT major Infosys recently reported a little over 13% jump in its third quarter net profit of 65-86 crore. The CEO of Infosys is Salil Parekh. Salil Parekh, Terry Delaport, CEO of Wipro, CP Gurnani, Chandra Prakash Gurnani, Tech Mahindra, Rajesh Gopinathan, CEO of TCS, Tata Consultancy Services, C. Vijay Kumar, CEO of HCL Technologies, Hindustan Computers Limited. Okay, simple. Which Arab country recently agreed to roll over a $2 billion loan owed by Pakistan and provide the country with an extra loan of $1 billion? Everyone is giving, but no one is giving. So they say that they promised, but the Pakistanis are suffering a great deal. Yeah. The United Arab Emirates has said, okay, you owe us money, but TK, you can make the payment later. $2 billion is due, but you don't have paisa, no problem. We don't want you to fail. So you could pay this later or we will give you another $1 billion. That's what they did. Okay. Saudi Arabia has uh, promised to put $5 billion as a deposit in the State Bank of Pakistan. So these are all loans. They have to be paid back. So Pakistan is getting deeper into debts. So one, they don't have paisa to pay existing loans, interest and all that, principal interest and all. They have barely have $5.8 billion, which is sufficient, uh, $5.8 billion in foreign exchange reserves. This money, five point of, this money of about $5.8 billion is sufficient to pay for three weeks of imports. So, Will Pakistan default? I don't think so. Yeah, Pakistan won't default, but yes, it may say that for now we may not pay. We would like you to defer. So that's a different kind of default. Yeah, we'll pay in the future. So they they are borrowing to repay loans now. Things are pretty bad. In, shops are being closed at eight thirty. No function after eight thirty in the evening because you no know, electricity costs money, and we don't have enough electricity to supply to this you. That's what they have been telling the people of Pakistan. They also have been telling, uh, in fact, the one, one minister went on to on TV and say, you know, said that Pakistan should consume less chai. Instead of consuming three cups of chai, they should consume one cup of chai because even the chai that we import, the chai powder, tea powder that we import is to be paid for and we don't have money to pay for it. Hmm? Pretty bad out there. Because see, many people in India had been saying that, see, look at Pakistan, they have been subsidizing, they, 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 they sell their petrol at 40 rupees and we are selling at over 100. Why should we do that? See, this is the precise reason why Pakistan is deep in 
some people say shit deep in trouble why because they have been subsidizing they have been buying at 100 rupees but selling at 40 rupees where is the 60 rupee gap and tax collection sources are not great foreign investment is not coming in you understand this everywhere there are problems so they don't have money if they don't have money what will they do now so everyone is suffering hmm ah thank you for being here